All right, Dion's good to go. We'll start with uh, George. Man, hold up. I got to turn the volume up oh, so you, you can hear me tuned up. Let's go auto tune up. Hey, oh, excellent, excellent. I wish I had my tape on for that, but hey, I'll get it on the other tape later on. You must, when, when, do you, when does your first CD drop? Uh, I'm actually thinking about dropping it for Christmas. I might do some snow tunes for Christmas. Oh, that's very appropriate. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Uh, there you, that's how you do it. And uh, next up, uh, the, the, how do you uh, plan on dealing with the various blitz packages that uh, Bill Belichick and the Patriots usually have uh, coming up? Uh, you guys, how do you uh, prepare yourself for that? Well, number one thing, uh, I dive into the film. Uh, I stay in the film room. I continue to just go over, go over, go over looks. Um, I, I tend to ask questions from uh, and my coaches and um, basically get what they see first and then uh, I ricochet off of my own like techniques of study patterns. And, uh, and from practice, I mean like it's been like helping, but we just have to just keep our heads up and uh, just practice what we've been in practicing all week and just expect the unexpected. Yeah, how good on film? How did, how good does those McCourty brothers look back there on the on the back end? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, though they're like talented guys, and but the good thing is that um, they play deep, and then they come up, and, and sometimes so we don't really have to uh, keep our eyes on those guys as much. But uh, overall players, they're and they're superstars, and uh, I and respect them. They they've been good players for a long time and they're great dudes off of the field and uh, nothing but love for them. Excellent. Hey, I appreciate your time. Hey, yes, sir. good luck this week. Thank you, brother. Take care. All right. MC Snowman. What's going <laughs> on, man? Schmook, 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 <laughs> TGIF, you already yeah, know. Sure, you man. Snow. I see you dress for the occasion, though. See how the... That's how I gotta come with the snowman, and, you know? And, but you know, you gotta have a bubble coat for the snow, you know? It's only one way to go. That's Buffalo. Come on, man. It's only Absolutely. one way to be. Hey, it's only one way to be. And for the past three years, man, these Patriots has been a thorn in your side. So it is big boy ball week. What's the mindset going into Sunday? Honestly, man, it's just another week, Mook. It's just another week. Uh, we and respect what's coming, but it's another week. Whether it's an undefeated team, a team that's never won a game, whether there's a team that's even, like, as in wins and losses, uh, it's the same. Like, uh, it's just different players and different color jer jerseys, and we have to do our best at doing what we do, and that's playing Buffalo Bills ball. Simple as that. Right. Speaking of that Buffalo Bills ball, Benny the Butcher went on to say, man, you know, you're one of his favorite players. He like what yeah. you do out there. So, you know, what are some of the things he's going to like on Sunday? Man, first of all, the Butch, the Butch is big bro, man. The Butcher, <laughs> Wes, Khan, those are all Buffalo dudes, and they show nothing but love. So salute to Griselda and those boys. And um, But they are going to see Buffalo Bills ball. They are going to see us. Running, throwing, catching, blocking, hitting, swagging, and being us and letting the world continue to understand that this is a different Buffalo Bills team and we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing day in and day out so we can keep that same swagger and keep that juice flowing. Hey, it's only one way to sum that up is you already know my guy. Good luck. You, are, you already know the vibes, Mook. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Take care, man. Hey, Dion, Alexa up, here. How you doing? Alex, uh, what's getting? Sorry about that, uh, that little delay. You already said it's not, you know, it's just another week, it's just another game, but this is the time to turn the tide of what this Patriots-Bills rivalry could be. Like, this could be the start of a whole new chapter, of a whole new world, of a whole new football era. Um, is there any more pressure in that regard? And what do you say to the younger guys who, you know, might not get, what this rivalry means. I mean, I, like, honestly, Lex, uh, if you think about it, if you want to think about it like that, this week can become way bigger than what it is. You know, uh, everybody in our conference is a rival. 
honestly, every team who and we play is a rival. If you're not Buffalo Bills, we ain't rocking with you. So literally, if you want to think about it in the way that you said, it'll be extremely hard and it'll be blown out of proportion. But it's just another week. But if I did have a message for the young guys, I would simply say, don't get too big, don't get too small, stay consistent and stay even playing field and evil, even minded so it doesn't get too big and you don't over excite yourself for the, the moment because it's just another game and uh, our goal is just to be 1-0 every week. Yesterday, Tredavious was talking about the giant playbook that was Tom Brady defense playbook. And now, obviously, they have to throw that out with Cam. The, the defensive front looks different, too. How do you guys kind of prepare for this, these new guys that are different than what you've been used to, what you've been used to seeing um, in this matchup normally? Um, I mean, like, like, honestly, like, with the defense, it's similar. It's similar. Like, they do a bunch of exotic stuff, games and stuff like that. But um, I'm not really sure, like, uh, about the defensive side. But I'm pretty sure that those guys have a little breather, that it's not the super, super, superstar like Tom Brady that, that, that he is. And the guys can honestly just take a breath and just play ball. I meant more for you on, like, you're not seeing the same guys up front for the defense. Like, you're not seeing this. You're not going up against the same guys you're used to seeing. Like, how have, oh. you, kind of, how have you kind of been preparing that and looking at what they've been doing, especially in the, the lapses that they've been having in their run date? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, to be honest, there is a couple of guys that have been there for those – for these past, like, four years that are still there. But overall – I kind of just put them all in the same in the same basket. If they have that Patriots jersey on, I look at them all exactly the the, uh, the same, you know. But um, honestly, I don't overlook it. I just look at the uniform and I look at and the color, and I look at the height and I look at the weight, and uh, I just consistently just try and try to be me, and uh, just get this thing done. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. What's up, Dion? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Sal. What up? I am mean, kind of elaborating on on that Benny the Butcher shout out, man. Uh, I mean, I know how much you listen to him. How much did that really mean to you? Getting our shout out from him and, and what's Griselda doing for the city of Buffalo in general? Yeah, I mean, it just shows just a bigger stamp how special Buffalo is. Uh, guys that come here that's not like from here like and myself, and uh, I just embraced Buffalo, like from all aspects, to firefighters, to the music, to to police officers, to people that work in the hospital, to to the football field, and uh, it just shows that it's honestly a giant family. And uh, to hear Benny, you uh, say that, I mean, it's just love, man. Like uh, like Benny is one of my good good friends and one of my good dudes outside of this this big picture world that everyone sees it and uh it's it's just all love man and i'm gonna keep rocking with them it's, it's in griselda it's the buffalo stuff and we're gonna keep it hyping keep it going that's why i didn't realize that y'all kicked it outside of uh you know outside of the internet and twitter and everything how did y'all meet yeah uh like honestly just just through a mutual friends and uh like one of my guy uh we call him the real Tony De Nero, but uh, and but he go by, well his name is Chris, but he go by Tony, and uh, that's the homie man. That is the homie, and uh, he just linked it and said Benny was a real supporter and a real fan of the the uh, Bills, and I was like, well, just set it up and let's meet up, and and we met. We've been kicking it off ever since. Um, same thing with with uh, Wes and Conway, like. And like those dudes, they family dudes and they love us and we love them. So it's a mutual thing and we just show nothing but and respect for, for people that want to win and just genuine people like Benny and, 
and all those boys, like they're just genuine dudes. And we just, you know, just bounce back that, uh, that energy. All right, man. So burn the proof album of the year. hundred percent. And I'm stamping that right now. I feel it, bro. I right, appreciate you. Yes, sir. Hey, Dion, it's John. Good to see you, man. What's up, John? Um, I wanted to talk to you about John Feliciano and his return. Um, yeah. I know we've, we've heard you and others describe what he brings, the juice, but, but can you already feel it uh, with him even on the practice side of things? Swag is back. That's all I can say. The swag is back. <laughs> we got our guy back, and uh, we're happy to have him back. And uh, John does – a, a great job of just letting his presence and be felt. And for him, he comes out there and, and he's just him. He screams and but he yells, he swags out, he's tatted up, tinted visor, swaggy, swaggy dude. And I'm happy that there's more than a couple of them. Yeah. People may not understand if they've especially never, you know, played the game or whatever. They may not understand how one guy and the way he carries himself can affect other guys and, and maybe change the way you guys play. Can you explain how that happens? Yeah. Um, so let me think so I can get this correct. So basically, if if I were to and describe it, right? Because like like I I always like have to make some some other thoughts so it could come t to light. So I'm gonna think of like somebody like a. Like, basically, like, if you think of this, right, if you're in a boxing facility and you go in every day and there's a guy in there named Mike Tyson, and you know Mike Tyson is in there, he's beating a bag up, he's, he's, he's working, he's out working, everybody, he's screaming. You could just feel his presence when you're in that boxing gym. And then, let's say, you go in there and Mike Tyson isn't in there. So now, like, you're like, Dang, I literally feel Mike Tyson not in the gym making noise, and you can't like, like glimpse, like glimpse over and be like, "Yo, that's Mike Tyson." And that's kind of how how I see it with with certain players and people that like to have character, because uh, their character is their presence, and their presence is felt when they're around and uh, when they're there, and when they're and not there, but when they're there, it's appreciated. And Tyson's a scary dude. I've never even met him. So Tyson's I mean, a scary dude. <laughs> so you, are you saying John's a scary dude too? John is a dog. Absolute <laughs> I, savage. I appreciate you. Thanks. Yes, sir. Hey, Dion, how are you, man? Is that my dog, Scott? What's up, kid? That's my dog, Scott. <laughs> how you feeling? Yo, look, I'm happy that you took the, the, uh, I did. the Penn State the Penn State off, man. I appreciate you. <clears throat> no local high school. It's hey, all good. <clears throat> how much do you look at weather for games? I mean, this weekend's going to be 40, 50 mile an hour winds. I mean, yeah. you know, I guess like, the theory you want to run the ball more for an offensive lineman. Is that, what does that do for you, knowing, well, there might be more runs or getting the running game going more important than ever? I mean, I glimpse at it. Honestly, like, I just see if it's going to be frigid or if it's going to be cold or if it's going to be warm um, or if it's going to be hot. And if I know that it's supposed to rain, then I can expect to run the ball, be more physical, you know, running against guys like Rio, driving them all off the ball, or if it's a nicer day. Be good at doing that too, y'all. <laughs> be strong. <though. laughs> and if it's, a, if it's a calmer day, with less wins, then I know that our quarterback can be fully him. So it's really just if you expect weather, expect it to be more physical than other. All right, man. Good luck, Sunday, man. Yep. Thanks, brother. <clears throat> hey, Dion. Dante Lasting, Bills.com. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Dante, I can hear you, my brother. Good, good, good. Why is it important to get registered to vote? Why is it important to be to register to vote? Yes. Well, it's important that you can have an opinion and it's important that you can stamp your indecision. 
you know, a lot of people run their mouth and they talk about this and that and this and out. But when you're registered to vote and you actually vote, then you basically have something to back up what you're talking about. You know, a lot of people and complain, but then they don't like get out there and stand in line and wait to vote. But now people have a chance to do it. They should do it. And it's just, you know, and it's honestly just a respect thing that in the past, not everybody could vote. So now in the future, in the present, that and we can, let's, and let's do it and, 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 and get it done. Definitely. How much easier has it been with the NFL kind of um, putting an emphasis on it this yeah. year? Well, it's been extremely easy because uh, it's, it's, it's almost like everywhere and but you turn and everywhere and but you look now, there's, uh, there's guiders that are guiding you the right direction for you to get it done and, and register and actually places that, that you can look and find where do I actually go. And um, there's people that like, but like that are helping now. And the fact that like that the NFL has, has put their emphasis and their foot down to, to help this thing push, it's, uh, I feel like that it's going well. That's great. Well, good luck on Sunday and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Dante. You have a good one.